Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Valentine's Day, February the 14th. And what better thing to do than to look at AIS signals? So today we're going to look at AIS with an added feature. We're going to uh, look at AIS and listen to marine weather as well using one receiver, using just one RTL. Uh, in previous posts, I, look at, I looked at using uh, STR Angel to receive AIS on OpenCPN, and I also looked at um, receiving AIS and ADSB on the same map. But today what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, looking at AIS and uh, marine weather on OpenCPN using STR Angel. Now let's just go back to when we looked at AIS by itself. Here's how I set up the um, RTL SDR on uh, SDR Angel. I set the receiver for 162 megahertz, and we looked at a bandwidth of about 100 kilohertz. And I put on two um, two channel modules, an AIS DMOD which I had set up at channel 87B at 161.975, and another DMOD at 162.025. So then uh, our sampling device then was the RTL SDR, set it up at 162, and the first channel DMOD was set at plus 25, that's this guy, and the second one at minus 25. So that's how I set up receiving just AIS. Let's look at what we're doing today. So here we are with AIS and marine weather on STR Angel, and let's look at the setup that we're going to use today. So it's a slight modification. Here's the weather sitting up at 162.4 megahertz, and those are our two uh, AIS channels. So what I did is I said, okay, let's move the center frequency up from 162 to 162.2 megahertz. So it's sitting right there. So then this guy would be located at minus 175, and this guy would be located at minus 225, and the weather would be located at plus 200. Now, due to the flexibility of SDR Angel, what we can do is we can add three channel modules. We can add uh, an AIS DM, DMOD for this guy, an AIS DMOD for this guy, and we can add a narrow band FM receiver. So all of that's contained within 500 kilohertz, which is within the sampling bandwidth of the RTL. So basically then with one simple RTL, I can receive um, two things. I can receive the AIS and the WX. Now earlier on uh, today I was down at Harbor Front. It was really really cold. It was like it felt like absolute zero at minus 273 centigrade but it was actually around minus 20 to minus 30 with a wind chill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the screen capture now um, and select portions of the audio. The audio was kind of blurred because there was so much going on. So let's look at the screen capture here. So what I started off by doing was I started off by looking at just AIS. So this is what I had several weeks ago when I received just the AIS. So there's my uh, device set. The sampling device is the RTL. It's set at 162. Full bam, full uh, sampling rate at 2.4 mega samples per second. Both the DC and the IQ corrections are on. I'm using the version 2 RTL with the metal case. It's very, very accurate, so the parts per million is zero. Uh, I've set the decimation at 16 because I want to be able to see the two channels clearly. And um, I've got in the uh, channels um, uh, window here, I've got the first AIS DMOD, which is set at plus 25, and the second one set at minus 25. So if I move this thing around here a little bit, this is what I was recording this morning. So there, for instance, you can see um, lots of activity on 87B and 88B. These are the message being received on both channels. Let's just scroll down a little bit more. There. So you can see the first DMOD is set at plus 25 kilohertz above there, so 162.025. And the other one was set at um, 25 kilohertz below. Let's see if you can find that one. There we go. There's the other one set at minus 25 kilohertz below. So that'd be 161.975. Now, in terms of sending the packets to uh, OpenCPN, um, 
we set the UDP, we checked, uh, ticked that box off, 127.0.0.1, port uh, 4159 and NEMA, NEMA format. So those packets will now go to OpenCPN. So let's see what we see on OpenCPN. So there's OpenCPN, lots of activity there. There's a contact there, that's, I think that's Iron Guppy, one, two, three, four. So there's five or six um, contacts there. I checked on the web as well. Uh, there's a web application, there's Iron Guppy, Radian Yellow, MR Kane, William Lyon McKenzie, and MV Oneagra. I did a web application, Let's see if I can find it, uh, called uh, Ships Now to see what they said was in the harbor. So basically they're seeing the same thing. So we're picking up on our AS, we're picking up pretty well everything that's there. So that's pretty good. So let's go back here. And so the next thing I did after I looked at the AIS is I changed the center frequency from 162.0 to 162.2, okay, and I added uh, a an, an, uh, narrow band FMD modulator, so that'll be my marine weather. So it's plus 200 kilohertz from there, so it'll be 162.4. And then I readjusted these, instead of plus 25, now it's minus 175. And the other one, instead of minus 25, it's minus 225. So actually, we can hear this. Let's see what the marine weather had to say. Chill minus 30 this morning and minus 10 this afternoon. Risks of frostbite. Tonight, partly cloudy 30% chance of flurries overnight. Wind becoming west 20 kilometers per hour after midnight. So that's the marine weather. So I've scrolled down a bit here. So there you can see the top uh, AIS mod is minus 175 and the bottom is minus, 220, mi minus 225. Minus 225. Okay, so now let's go into um, SDR Angel and let's look at how to set it up from scratch. So basically, I've just got nothing selected right now. So in the windows here, what we're going to want to see is we're going to see sampling devices and we're going to want to see um, channels. Okay, so let's say we want to receive the AIS. So in here, what you're going to do is you're going to locate your RTL. So there's mine. All right. So it's already selected. So you want the full bandwidth here. You'll want these two corrections on. Set your PPM. Um, and you have to know what the PPM of your SDR is. The older ones probably might be around, let's say, 20 or 21 parts per million. The newer ones are fairly accurate. I've got the full gain set up here. So that's located here at source device set. Okay, so when you first open this thing up, you go to add source device set and R0 will be your RTL. The next thing you have to do is you have to add the channel demods. So let's add an AIS. Actually, let's add the narrow band FM first. So there's my narrow band FM receiver. Okay, so... Um, we can hear it now. I'm at my home location, Comments incidentally. To be to 1 so there's my marine weather. The current time is Monday, February 14th. So I, I know it's working. So I'm going to change this now to 162.2, and I'm going to add the AIS modules. So I'm going to add an AIS D mod. And I'm going to add another one. Okay, so now I've got my narrow band FM demodulator at plus 200. I'm going to set that for plus 200. And I got my first AS, AIS demod. I'm going to set that for minus 175. Okay, and the second one I'm going to set for minus 225. Okay, so that's set. And then the other thing I have to do is I have to set the <coughs> packets. So I want 4159 and NEMA. 
and I'll set it for the second one as well. So there we go. That's the complete setup for the AIS and the weather. And um, if I run this now, I'll have to decrease the decimation here. Now, I'm not seeing any AIS activity uh, because I'm at my home QTH. I'm not down in harbor front, but I can hear the weather. Okay, so we've set everything up then. So basically there in the windows, you want to have your sampling device, your channels. And um, over here, we've got the uh, R0, the sampling device set up for the RTL. And later on, um, once you've got everything working and you're quite happy with it, what you may want to do as well is go down to uh, presets and click this button here and this button here and create a preset and save all your settings. So you won't have to go through and set everything up uh, again. So that's it.